hello there, I am Giant Quartal, and this is my new little project thing. Uh, project thing. I'm going to be live streaming, this is my first ever Let's Live Stream series, I'm going to be doing Pokemon Fire Red, and as by the title, you can definitely tell that I've done this, tried this project like several times before, and I just can't seem to get it right. I'm going to be streaming for, until I get tired basically, and I'm going to be basically splitting all the videos up into little parts, like 20 minutes or 15 minutes. I'm not going to do the one hour per part um, thing like I did before, it just didn't seem to work out. I didn't live stream that long and stuff, because people were coming in at the end of the live streams and stuff, so let's get started. Let's get a new game. Um, I'll explain the layout here. On the far left, you have the gameplay, and above that is like a, you know, Charizard logo with Pokemon Fire Red, a Squirtle next to it. So I guess you can guess what my starter is gonna be for this play, uh, for this series. And I got my YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch icons. At least they're the logos. That um, and under that's at Giant Grotle. So they're all Giant Grotle. Like my YouTube's Giant Grotle, my Twitter's Giant Grotle, my Facebook's Giant Grotle and my Twitch is also Giant Grotle. Um, next to that, to the right, you have my. I have a picture of a Grotle, so that's cool. My favorite Pokemon and my mascot for my YouTube channel and everything else, basically. And next to that, I have Bulbasaur and Charmander because they're the other two stars in this game. So yeah, hello there, glad to meet you. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People affectionately refer to me as the Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited far and wide by creatures called Pokemon. For some people, Pokemon are pets, others use them for battling. As for myself, I study Pokemon as a profession. Yeah, that's cool. But first, tell me a little bit about yourself. And also, if you're watching this on Twitch, it's a live stream, of course, and I have the chat to the right, by the way. So in case you're watching this on YouTube and you missed the live stream, you'll see what everyone commented during the live stream, and it's labeled the chat above it. So yeah. Um, if, you, if you're on Twitch, below is all these social media links, like my YouTube, my Facebook, my Twitter, and all that. And if you're watching this on YouTube, my Twitch uh, link will be in the description along with all my other, you know, Twitter and Facebook as well. So now that we got out of the way, that out of the way, I'm gonna choose, I'm gonna, I'm a boy, and I'm gonna name myself Grotel. Because that's what I decided when I picked, thought out the name. And I've been as Grotel on several other you know, adventures of Pokemon, so it's only fitting that I do the same for this one. Right, so your name is Grotel. This is my grandson. He's been your rival since you were both babies. And by the way, I also, um, you saw me, you heard me say, hello there, I'm Giant Grotel, at the beginning of this video slash live stream, but that might be the, might be the only time you'll hear me actually say those words in um, this whole series because I might start another ser uh, another live stream session up and I might not say hello there I'm Giant Grotel because it would be really confusing because it could be in the, like part 5 or something like that and when you're watching this on YouTube so yeah that's why I'm not going to say my voice intro for um I'm only going to say it once which I already did um, you don't remember your grandson's nickname okay I'm going to go with Gary I'm not going to do Gary in all caps but I will go um because i'm case sensitive i'm cap i want proper capitalization so g r a y a r y is lowercase and the g is capitalized capitalized so that's good um was it gary yes it was that's what i remember now his name is gary Quirtle, your better on pokemon legend is about tenfold a world of dreams adventures with pokemon awaits let's go shoot down the little sprite size that's awesome we go to our pc right here and go to item storage with draw item, you can get a potion. So you might want to use that in your first upcoming battle that's coming up soon if we if we get down low on HP. And yeah. Let's just go down to the stairs and right here, we'll talk to our mom. Right, all boys leave home someday. It said so on TV. Oh yes, Professor Oak next door is looking for you. So you're basing your parent judgment on a TV show, that's interesting. There's a movie on TV, four boys are walking on railroad tracks. I better go too. Now if you're playing the girl character, that uh, that's also a reference to the movie, I just don't know the m movie's title. But if, you watch, if you're playing as a girl character, there'll be a different movie going on, and that's like another real movie saying, okay, these two girls are so-and-so doing so-and-so. Hey wait, don't go out. That's oh, Professor Oak. It's unsafe, all Pokemon live in tall grass. You need your own Pokemon for your protection. I know, here, come with me. And we'll come with Professor Oak, yay. And we go to the lab right here, and look at this, it walks for me. See right there, it walks for me. Oh, thanks, um, Chelsea Dude at 98. 
Um, thanks for the compliment. Gramps, I'm fed up with waiting. Gary, let me think. Oh, that's right, I told you to come, just wait. Here, Grodel, there are three Pokemon here. Haha, <laughs> the Pokemon are held inside these Pokeballs. When I was young, and s when I was young, I was a serious Pokemon trainer. But now, in my old age, I have only these left. These three left. You can have one. Go and choose. Stump, stump, stump. Hey, Gramps, no fair. What about me? Be patient, Gary. You can have one too. So, Bulbasaur is a grass poison type, and it's apparently easy to raise. Um, I always pick him, but I'm not gonna pick him this time. This uh series. Here's Squirtle. Um, it's the water type Pokemon. I might pick him. Well, of course, I told you before in the layout, you see that Squirtle's next to the logo. <laughs> okay, and here's Charmander, the fire type Pokemon. I've used him in my Pokemon Leaf Green walkthrough um, guide, but I won't pick him. I'm going to pick Squirtle this time, because I've never gotten a full playthrough with Squirtle. And the, the first time I got him with a Squirtle in a playthrough was Saffron City, and it, and it was level 37, so it was actually a Blastoise. So that's the furthest I've actually got through a playthrough in this game of Leaf Green. With a Squirtle, and I'm gonna give it. To, I'm gonna give it to Squirtle. I'm gonna name it Blaster, cause it blasts water. I know it's very, it's a very uncreative nickname, but it'll work. It fits. It's all good. There we go. Blaster, and there we go. Yay. Okay, and of course Gary will always pick the Pokemon that's good against your Pokemon. So he chose. You know, he received a Bulbasaur from Professor Oak. Cool. So, and then, right when you can't even walk out the lab, uh, Gary's like, or your rival's like, Wait, wait, uh, what do you have name your character? In my case, Grodel, let's check out our Pokemon. Come on, I'll take you on. So we go into battle mode. Yeah. Okay. So, rival Gary would like to battle. Rival Gary sent out Bulbasaur. Go Blaster. Oh, for Pete's sake, so pushy as always. Grodel, you never had a Pokemon battle before, have you? A Pokemon battle is when Pokemon, or when trainers pit their Pokemon against each other. The trainer that makes other trainers' Pokemon faint by lowering their HP to zero, um, wins. Oh, um, thanks Chelsea dude for following the Grota squad. Thanks for the follow. Yeah, um, but rather than talking about it, you'll learn from experience. Try battling and see for yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna just go for the tackle. And by the way, I won't be speeding up any parts of this playthrough or series, because I don't want the, you know, well, it's not, my commentary, um, my live commentary, <laughs> my little live, my little, little live commentary, um, you know, won't get out of sync, but I want to just take that slow, and if I do have to do, like, level grind, I'll talk to you guys and read the chat, so you guys won't be bored and stuff. That's a big, that actually be a really good opportunity for you guys to, like, leave questions in the chat, and feel free to leave any questions if you have any. But I'll also read the chat when I'm level grinding or something, like when it takes, when I'm just doing something to train up my Pokemon or something small like that that takes time, extra time I should say. Okay, Oak says, inflicting damage on the foe is the, is key to any battle. What was there's tackle, okay. Oh, critical hit, ooh. I think I might have to use that potion. Sadly, I, I might have to use that potion. Yeah, let's see how much this does. Nine. Okay, when I get to six HP, I'll use that potion then. Well, yeah. Because I don't want him to get a critical hit the next turn. So with that critical hit that he got with his Bulbasaur, it <laughs> makes me have to use my first potion. And Oak will say, it's important to get to know your Pokemon thoroughly. This is a list of your Pokemon, Grotel. Yeah, I know this, sorry. Open this and check the skills and moves of your Pokemon. You, also, you can also choose here. You can also choose Pokemon here if you want to use an item or one. I'm going to use a potion, of course. I'm going to raise my, uh, restore me fully. But it restored 13 HP out of t uh, when it could restore up to 20 at the max for a potion. Yeah, keep your eyes on your Pokemon's HP. If it faints, if if it, it will faint if the HP drops to zero. Okay. So yeah. Let's just um go back with the battle. So I had to use my first po. I've, it's been a while since I've actually had to use a potion in this battle. So I guess it had it had to happen again sooner or later. So I'm just gonna look at it like that. And then we take down the Bulbasaur. We kind of want only because we want to use the potion, a healing item, but that's okay. We gained 67 experience points, and this is always um, raise your Pokemon's level up to level 6 for your starter in this battle, so that's nice. So it's actually a really good um, way to get to level 6 even before you go out and see other wild Pokemon. So it's really good that you try to win this battle. What unbelievable. I picked the wrong Pokemon. Sure you did. Thanks for the 80 Pokedollars. 
Hmm, excellent. If you win, you win prize money and your Pokemon will grow. Battle other trainers and make your Pokemon strong. Very well said, Professor Oak. Okay, um, I'll make my Pokemon battle to toughen it up. Grotto Graham, smile you later. Okay, there's actually a part in the coming up that I'll have to actually tr uh, train and grind for. But again, I'll just read the chat, as I said before, during that time and just train. Since I won't be speeding up any segments, you know, even though this is an emulator, I won't be speeding up any segments of the series. Look, look, I copied what it says on one of the tra those trainer tip signs. Trainer tips, press start to open the menu. And by the way, I'm curious, do I heal my Pokemon? Do I get my Pokemon healed after that battle? Yes, I do. Okay. Or my Pokemon, my starter Pokemon, I should say. I almost said it like I had more than one Pokemon already. So, this one encounter, what is it? It's a Pidgey, awesome. Level 2. So I'm gonna use Blaster. We're gonna use it. It's just gonna be a tackle right here. So there we go. There we go. And one more tackle should do it. Nice. Got a critical hit, a pointless critical hit, but that's okay. I'll take all. I'll, I'll take every critical hit I can get actually. So that's what. That's the way I'm gonna look at it for for, for that prospect of that getting critical hits, even though it's probably not the best time. You know. Um, hi, I work at the Pokemon. This guy gives you a potion, by the way. It's part of a convenient chain selling all sorts of items. Please visit us in, please visit us in Viridian City. I know. I'll, I'll give you an, a sample. Here you go. And he gives you a potion. So, I have one potion right now, but you guys, if you didn't have to use that first potion and you got it from the PC, and you'd have to use it against the uh, your rival battle, then you have two potions. Yay, math. Okay. Cool. So, let's just... Oh my gosh. Okay. I wanted to at least get two patches in this patch big area of grass, but no. He's a rat to level three. Yeah, just it's gonna be another tackle war, isn't it? Because I'm pretty sure rat to only knows tackle and tail whip. Yeah. But I know in, in this route Pidgey only knows um tackle actually up until level five. So fun fact of the day. Well that's not really a fun fact. I'll probably think of some later on, but met I might forget because I forget stuff. But we take we took down the Rata, so that's good. And we go level 7, and at level 7, Squirtle learns Bubble, so that's cool. Same type of attacking move, but it only has 20 base power, so it's really bad. It's honestly really bad. <laughs> okay, let's continue on. One more Pokemon battle, okay. I might run from this if I get well on HP, I don't know yet. Okay, it's a Pidgey level 3. How much HP do I have left? I have 12, let's try it. Let's just use Tackle. I'm going to choose Tackle over Bubble, because Tackle has, I think, like 30 base power, and then Bubble only has 20. How much will this tackle do? Okay, I'm just gonna run. I'm gonna run from this battle. Okay. So, we're almost to Viridian City. Now we're in Viridian City. Awesome. So, well, the first thing I want to do is go to the Pokemart. But if you go up here, I'll show this off real quick. This guy will be lying down on the ground. He'll say, um, I absolutely forbid you from going through here. This is private property. And I'll say the same thing if you try to go around him, like that. And if you talk to this lady right here, oh, Grandpa, don't be so mean. I'm so, I'm so sorry, he hasn't had his copy yet. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be that cranky when he doesn't have his copy. Well, then, again, coffee is like your morning cup of gel. When you wake up, you it's full of caffeine, and you need that kind of burst to get through your day. So I understand that. But he's just lying there in the middle of the road. <laughs> hey, you came from Pallet Town as we walk in this Pokemon White. You know Professor Oak, right? His order came in. Can I get you to take it to him? Sure, why not? That's Oak's Parcel, which is, a, which is actually a special Pokeball that has never shown off. He just says, oh, my custom Pokeball came in. Also, if you um talk to him again, he'll say, okay, thanks. Please say hi to Professor Oak for me, too. Okay, I'll remember that. So, we could go to the Pokemon Center and heal by Pokemon, but I'm not going to do that because I'll just use the ledges to get back to Pallet Town, and that way I don't run into any tall grass. So, I'm going to do that. And, let's see, right here, just hop over these ledges. It makes a funny sound when you hop over a ledge. It goes pop, 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 or boing, boing, boing. I can't, print, I can't really explain the sound that well, but it makes a funny sound. Here, listen to this funny sound. No, I talked over it. Ah, uh, fine. I'll go. I'll go back around and sh tell, show it again. Good. I know what Pokemon. I'll be quiet here. Kind of makes a funny sound. Aw oh, man, I ran into a Pokemon. Pokemon. It's another like Pidgey, and it's level three. I think I run from this Pidgey. There we go. Okay. Let's. We're back in Pallet Town. So let's go back to the lab where Professor Oak's at. 
it won't walk for us here, so, you know. I'm gonna talk to Professor Oak from the behind, or maybe the side, actually. Yeah, I'll talk to him from the side. Oh, Grodel, how's my old Pokemon? Well, it seems to be growing more attached to you. You must be ta you must be talented as a Pokemon trainer. What's- wait, what's that? Do you have something for me? Grodel's delivered Oak's parcel. <laughs> Ah, that it's a custom, it's a custom Pokeball. I had an order, thank you. And then he doesn't talk about it ever again throughout this whole game. So like he doesn't go into detail. Is that is that secretly the D, the GS ball like in the anime? How they had they how they had a GS ball thing and they got confused over it and stuff and what it did, what it did, what it does or something. I don't know. Oh, cool, Gary's here, Gramps. I almost forgot, what did you call me for? So you have a cell phone? I thought it was the one in gold, silver, and crystal, and hot gold, and silver silver that you had a cell phone in Pokemon games. What is the world coming to? I'm just kidding. So yeah, he's all shocked. Professor is all shocked. Alright, I have a quest for you two. On the, on the desk, there is my invention. It's the, uh, the Pokedex. It automatically records of data it automatically records data of Pokemon you've seen or caught. Don't you mean seen and caught? Because it gives you a little bit of information if you've seen it, but it gives you more information, like complete information if you catch the Pokemon. It's a high-tech encyclopedia. G um, go on, Gary. I take these with you. He takes them off the desk and gives this to us. He gives mine at the side, so he has to put his arm out to the right, and he gives he just puts his other arm out to the front to, to give Gary's to give Gary his Pokedex. You can't get detailed data on Pokemon just by seeing them. You must catch them to complete complete data. Um, so here are some tools for catching wild Pokemon. And we got five Pokeballs, that's awesome. Yeah. When a wild Pokemon appears, it's fair game. Just throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. That This won't always work, however. A healthy Pokemon can escape, you have to be lucky. To make a complete guide of, on all the Pokemon in the world, that is my dream. But I'm too old. I can't get the job done. So I want you to, to fill my you two to, to fulfill my dream for me. Get moving, you two. This is a great undertaking in Pokemon history. All, all right, Graham. So leave it all to me. But I hate to say it, but you won't be necessary for this. I know. I'll borrow Tom out for my sis. I'll tell her not to when you won, Grodel. Ha ha. Don't bother coming around my place after this. I'm gonna do that. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. So don't think you can be all smart, Gary, and get one step ahead of me. Well, technically you are one step ahead of me because the game's programming, but I am smart too, Gary. Don't try to d discourage me. So here's Gary's house, by the way. It's, here, let's talk to Daisy, his sister. Grandpa asked you to run an errand. Gee, that's the way of him. Here, this will help you. And we see the time map from Daisy. Nice. And if you, I'm gonna show this one to get out of Gary's house. If you go to um the bag and your key items, and select the town map, these are all the areas we're gonna cover in Kanto. And there's actually a big after game too, so we'll get to that later though. Let's put the town map away. And just to prove that this is Gary's house, it says Gary's house. He pays the rent and mortgage. No, this is not an apartment. He doesn't rent it out. He pays the mortgage of the house. 